Hi there, thanks for joining me again. Just waiting for a train to arrive, off on a little uh, overnighter. And I'm heading up to uh, Whaley Bridge first to meet uh, Chris Jepson Brown. Uh, a lot of you'll know his channel, Chris JB. Um, first time I've ever met him, but we're off on a, a little overnighter um, heading up the Goit Valley. Um, so, um, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, aim is to camp somewhere near Shining Tor and uh, then complete the uh, that side of the valley in the morning uh, back across Cat's Tor and down Wind, Windgather Rocks and um, down past Taxel Church and, and back into Whaley Bridge. So uh, yeah, it should be fun. Why not join me? See how we get along. Right, so I've met up with uh, Chris now. Looks like my kind of walker. He's stopping every two minutes to uh, take a picture of a flower or something like that. That will suit me now down to the ground. But uh, yeah, good to meet him. And uh, so we're just starting off heading up along the Goit Valley at a low level. We'll go past uh, both Fernley and Irwood Reservoirs and then sort of head up through the uh, grounds of the old ruins of Irwood Hall. So, uh, bring you back in a bit. Quick harebell break. One of my favourites too, lovely. It's so delicate. Yeah. Although they always, um, um they always mark sort of the decline of summer for me. Yeah, yeah. No, I've just uh, reached the uh, dam at the bottom of Fernley Reservoir now, walking across the reservoir and then cutting left along through the uh, the woods nice uh, pretty route and uh, we're looking for Jep Clough and Mr Jepson Brown I'd never heard of it before but we both sort of spotted it on the map <laughs> today so uh, yeah we're gonna keep an eye out for that We found Jep Clough. It's uh, not that impressive to be honest, but Chris has uh, just headed up there to get a uh, a bit of footage of his almost namesake Clough. We just had a bit of a sit down for half an hour and uh, just uh, gazing out across the reservoir, so we're all refreshed now and uh, just heading up towards uh, Irwood Hall. to Irwood Reservoir now. So we're uh, just heading along for a short distance and then begin that climb up past Irwood Hall. Sun's out. Lovely day. Just uh, heading up to Irwood Hall now. Clouded over, it's looking a bit grey. Hope that rain stays off. Because all I've got is the Dutch Army bivvy. I've got no tarp or anything. <laughs> we'll see how we go on. That's a shame. I was looking forward to showing Chris around there, but you can't get in. Not in 
entirely sure what they're maintaining on a, a ruin. Uh, it's not as though there's any high walls that could fall over or anything. Uh, who knows, they might be restoring it back to its former glory. Doubt it. Just uh, wandering up Shooter's Clough now. Sorry about the flies, just being surrounded. Quite warm up here because there's uh, no breeze, we're down in the valley. It's uh, quite beautiful with all the trees. And uh, just going to stop and collect some water just up here, I think. Look at the colour of that. Straight off the peat up there. <laughs> colour of tea. But uh, I'm sure we find one's filtered. on the last stretch up now to uh, Shining Tour. Oh, the clouds are looking a bit ominous. Not really bivy weather. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully they'll hang on to their rain. It's not such a big deal when you're on an overnighter anyway if you get a bit wet. It's uh, not as though you're going to get that cold or anything. Just uh, walk it off in the morning. Just a few yards from the uh, trig point because it's uh, just too windy up there and um, we found a spot where we're a little bit near the path but uh, it's pretty quiet we've hardly seen anybody all afternoon have we not really and uh, just a few people just a minute ago but uh, yeah just behind just sheltered behind a wall here and there's a, a spot for uh, chris's tent here and i'll fit the uh, bivy bag in wherever so we're just going to give it half an hour or whatever just to make sure it's still quiet and then uh, Get set up. Well, as you might be able to see behind me, we've got a uh, big rainstorm coming in that wasn't really on the weather forecast, but hey ho. Uh, so we've just done an, an emergency quick setup and we're, uh, we're just going to dive in our respective shelters <laughs> but uh, yeah not had anything to eat yet or out so oh well catch you in a bit right sorry if this is a bit misted up uh, it's getting on for half nine now um, and it's been raining since we uh, Shot in here at about uh, half past seven. Reckons it's going to stop in about fifteen minutes, but uh, I've just uh, just been watching a film, Lord of the Flies, and uh, yeah, there's not much else to do really. So I'm uh, I'm stuck in my little enclosed uh, Dutch Army bivy bag. So uh, anyway, probably won't be too much more from me tonight. Uh, but fingers crossed it'll be a bit nicer in the morning. Catch you later. Right, it's uh, just gone half past ten and it's finally more or less stopped raining. There's a little bit of uh, drizzle in the air. And uh, just trying to show you a little bit of the uh, the lights. Like you can see the lights of Manchester and various other uh, probably towns out into... Cheshire and whatever. You could even see Liverpool on the on the horizon uh, earlier. But 
So, yeah, we're just having a bit of a chat before we turn in for the night. Sorry about the strange lighting, I've just got my head torch down here. Morning, campers. It's uh, just getting towards quarter to six in the morning. And that's what it's like outside. Not very inviting, is it? It's uh, It rained most of the night and then probably early hours it seemed to stop. And uh, it's not rained since. But it's just very, very grey and a little bit cool outside. But uh, at least it seems to have dried the outside of the uh, bivvy bag down. So uh, anyway, I'm going to gently wake up. Might have another uh, half an hour in bed. Not heard uh, Chris move yet. So uh, see what the morning brings. Sun's just uh, rising up behind me, he says optimistically. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's quite breezy. This cloud does look like it's, uh, it's going to burn off a little bit. Now, uh, dashing in from the rain yesterday, I didn't get to eat anything, so I think what I'm going to do. thinner and thinner hoping sort of like blowing across and then it then you'll lose complete visibility again just a bit of mist really so some lovely glimpses of the uh, sunrise and just lighting up the different layers of the countryside it's been a beautiful morning let's get cracking the uh, obligatory leave no trace shot so we're all packed up Nothing at all left behind whatsoever. <coughs> just going to head up to the trig point, and just take a last couple of shots up there, and then get on our way. I'm glad we found that wall to shelter behind last night. We'd have been blown away up here. Less chance of being blown away in the bivvy because it's uh, got less uh, frontage to the wind, but uh, still wouldn't have been very pleasant in that rain. 
Chris is just getting the last few uh, clips down there. And then we're, uh, we're going to head down via Cat's Tour. Quite a dramatic morning. Lovely. Right, just turned 7.30 and we're off back down. Shining Tour's just in front of us there. And then across that and on to Windgather Rocks. And then we'll cut down to Taxel. Short road section here, just down from Pym Chair, and we're just coming up to Windgather Rocks, where we uh, we leave the the road and climb up across the top. Uh, cutting across Taxel Edge now and then uh, heading down to Taxel probably have a little look round the churchyard and then last leg back up towards Whaley Bridge it's been a great morning Right, well, we're on the last stretch now. Chris is just up there doing his sign-off piece. And uh, what a, an excellent trip it's been. Cracking bloke, Chris, and uh, 
We've had a lovely night out, even though the weather didn't play ball. Had a great little morning's walk as well today. So, uh, anyway, if you've stuck with us this long, thanks very much for watching. Hope you'll uh, do us a favour and give it a thumbs up, which helps immensely. And maybe even consider sub subscribing if you've uh, not already. But with that, I wish you all the best and say see you again on another video very soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.